Hello, welcome back to the Live Oxfordshire YouTube channel. Um, today I'm doing a really exciting tutorial on how to set your oven to come on at a predetermined time. Um, I found this especially useful uh, when we are out at um, the boys' karate lessons and we want to come home and uh, have dinner already and waiting because he's usually hungry, tired and very, very grouchy at that point. Um, so it's good if you've got things like pies and casseroles that you can put in the oven before you go. Set the oven to come on when, you, uh, when you're out and it's already by the time you get back. Um, this should be a fairly simple thing to do. Uh, certainly I looked in the manuals and um, they had instructions but the instructions didn't make an awful lot of sense because it didn't allow you to set a start time. Uh, so I had to think about it, I had to play around and I finally figured out what it is you need to do. So first of all, this is the button on the AEG competence cooker which is the one I'm doing the tutorial for because this is my oven. Uh, I'm afraid I can't help you with any other ones. Um, you press this button and a light comes on to select this. Now this is the duration time. So say you wanted the oven to be on for say 45 minutes to cook a, a pie, shepherd's pie for example. So you press that, you set the duration to 45 minutes. Oh, I should have cho chosen a shorter, shorter time, shouldn't I? Uh, 45 minutes. This is the end time, so if you press this again you'll see the light is now selecting this and so say I want the um, oven to have finished cooking um, for lunch time when we get back, so 12.30, so I would press this button until the time selected 12.30 and then press that and it's as simple as that, except of course you need to turn the oven on. But as you can see no light has come on Oh no, you can't see. I'm telling you. No light has come on. So the oven hasn't actually switched itself on. It'll start 45 minutes before 12.30. So it's as simple and as complicated as that, but it took me a really long time to figure it out. So I thought maybe a YouTube video would be helpful.